Uh, today I will explain a little bit on how to get rid of the, the influences of uh, spiritual groups or magical groups. Um, there are many special interest groups, it's almost like politics. Every lobby group or political party has their views on how the world should be run, what is best for the people. And uh, in spirituality it's actually the same. Uh, these lobby groups are called egregores and uh, they can be compared to political parties. So one egregore might promote nature, the other one might promote uh, industrialization. Uh, some are in, uh, yeah, in favor of the pursuit of wealth, other prefer a, a more hermetic uh, lifestyle. Uh, these groups are allowed to operate on Earth by various higher powers, angels, planetary spirits. Um, these groups, uh, they create a mix of influences and every person uh, can decide to use one of these groups to influence their own spiritual development. The problem is that there are hundreds of these groups and at any one time, one person is usually influenced or part of several of these groups. It can happen that you make contact with a group which has an influence which is contrary to your, to your own desire uh, for a path. Um, certain groups are very open. They just say like, well, if you want to work with us, we're willing to work with you, or we're just willing to share what we have. And others are more uh, pushy in a way. And if you look at like the letter of the law, the way it is in our solar system, if you make contact with a group, then you make a connection with the group energetically. And this can be considered an application for membership. So you're given access to the group, they're given access to you. Yeah. My battery is bijna leeg. Die die. So, appealing to the planetary spirits or to the angels to say, help me get rid of this group, unfortunately that's not going to work. Because the group is within its rights in claiming that you're a part of them and that they are entitled to have an influence on you. Um, there are a few exceptions though. One of them is that of uh, a free will. Uh, free will that doesn't mean that you're absolutely free just means that the amount of force which is applied on you cannot be more than you can bear. So if you make contact with a group which is actually very inimical to you, then they can fight you for the rest of your life as long as they don't use more force than you can resist. So if you notice that the group uh, is using more influence on you than you can resist, then you can apply to the proper authorities and that depends on what yeah, system of angels or deities you believe in. And you can ask them to intervene or to give you pause so you can gather your strength or to strengthen you to, so you can stand up to these trials. But also by being tested by this group, by this contest of strength, also you are forced to develop yourself and to improve your own strength and abilities and insight. So even a combat with an, 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 an inimical group is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, another thing you can do is to seek out its natural enemies. Um, because groups just like political parties and lobby groups, they tend to group together and form alliances. And if you have a problem with one group, you can look for their natural enemies and see if you can make a deal with them. Uh, one thing to look out for though is that <coughs> you can't fall into a kind of a mafia-like protection racket. If one group threatens you, the other is offering to protect you for a price and later you find out it's actually the same group which is both threatening you and protecting you for a price. So it's actually a very dangerous territory to go into if you're really unarmed and unprepared to deal with uh, such powerful forces. 
It's also very important to know that a group energy is always stronger than an individual energy. So even though you might be a very strong individual, you're never, never able to stand up as one single person to the power of such a group. These groups have physical manifestations which can just be a group or a coven or a circle or um, something of that nature. But the larger part of the group is usually astral in nature. Okay? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so, there are actually various methods to get rid of it. Um, one of them is to, in a way, to yeah, cauterize the wound. One part of you makes contact with that group, you can cut off that part of yourself so that the part they have rights on is no longer a part of you. Um, this is often also done uh, subconsciously, which is called a fragmentation of your, of your spirit. If too many of these fragmentations happen, then you yourself become unstable. So this is a method which is which will always work, but it's well you have to sacrifice part of your being. Uh, another way is basically to uh, to barter, to say like, okay, I know I shouldn't have made contact with you. Perhaps we can make a deal. Uh, I will give you X if you let me go. So you just buy them off to uh, well. Uh, remove their, their influence on you. Of course such a thing is very dangerous because if they have no intention of honoring their barter uh, well then you get more and more and deeper and deeper involved by having increased dealings with them. So if you're going to have a negotiation with them it's always important to have an impartial judge there who will see to it that the terms of the agreement are held to. An impartial judge in this case would be the sun. So you would have to make contact with the solar spirit and ask it to, well, bear witness or ensure that the deal is kept. And if you make a deal with the group, uh, you should ask them to make a deal and to swear it on the solar spirit or to call the solar spirit as their witness and to will honor the deal. Um, another way is to look for the group's natural enemies. Uh, because by their very nature they will try to well, keep you from the grasp of their, of their enemies. It's a little bit like, okay, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So, in general they're at least willing to work, even though you don't have to share personal goals. Um, it's very important though that you won't be used as a pawn in the, the battle between two groups. Uh, in the end, uh, what the group is all about is gathering an influence in the astral world. Uh, so the amount of influence they have on the culture, on the force and on the emotions of all the incarnated beings, um, that's what's really important to you. To so the more time you spend considering them, researching them, or pondering them or fearing them, the more you feed them, feed them and give power to their uh, to their group. So another way is simply to starve them, to make it not worth their while. If all the time you just ignore their influence or to cut it off, uh, then you're just not worth the investment and they'll probably let you go. Um, you can also ask for the... Uh, you all can also try for a more magical option. Uh, all connections are actually uh, also energetic, energetic <coughs> beings and by reaching out into the energetic world uh, you can also transform or change in energy. Uh, you should be very aware though of what you're doing because this can quickly turn into a kind of a tug of war or weapons race. If you do something they do something back and with this tit for tat it can easily grow over your head. So it's often good to s try to make a deal first and then only later escalate to using more forceful methods. Nou, het is wel een heleboel uh, tekst, ja. Maar ik vind het in Engels 